Now I will show you how to install the Shepard 210 fingerprint lock. Before installation, please prepare the following tools. A screwdriver, a chisel, electronic drilling, 25.4 mm, 54 mm egg wiles. Now we can begin to install the lock. First, choose the proper cutout sheet between 60 mm and 70 mm for your door, and then cut this sheet along with underline to paste them on the surface of the door and on the jam orderly. Please make sure that the holes on the surface of the door and on the jam are parallel. Second, drill two holes with 54 mm egg wiles on the surface of the door following cutout sheet. Drill two holes with 25.4 mm egg wiles on the jam, which is horizontal with holes on the surface of the door. Meanwhile, you need to chisel a 3 mm groove in depth. After you finish this, please adjust the latch between 60 mm and 70 mm. Latch has been set up at 60 mm position when it is shipped from the manufacturer. If you want to adjust it to be at 70 mm, please turn it following the arrow shown in the direction, nearly the same as the deadbolt. Rotate deadbolt tube according to the direction displayed by the figure. After pulling it in the right direction, rotate the deadbolt tube to make the limit hole, which is marked 70 mm. After you finish the adjustment, please insert latch into the hole and fix it on the door by using two self-tapping wood screws. Then insert deadbolt into the hole and do the same operation. After installing deadbolt, take the outside unit and cut the right torque bar. Next, I will show you how to install the outside unit. Cover with rubber seal on the outside unit to the unit bottom. Make sure the wire is held out at the bottom of the latch. Insert two studs underneath the outside unit into the two holes at both sides of the latch regulator pin. If the deadbolt is shrinking, adjust torque bar to a vertical mode and insert it into the cross slot of the deadbolt. Make outside unit harness go through the hole of the door and outside unit close to the door surface. Now let's begin to install the fixing board. Make outside unit harness go through the hole underneath the fixing board. Place the fixing board close to the door surface. Make two tightening studs underneath the outside unit go through the two holes underneath fixing board. Then make two M5 by 25 cross heavy headed screws go through the two holes on the fixing board and twist them into the corresponding screw holes on the outside of the unit to secure the fixing board. Please make square spindle and make it go through the latch regulator pin, the square hole and stretch into the corresponding square slot on outside unit. After doing that, we will start to install the inside unit. Take out a spring from the accessory bag and put it into the square slot underneath the inside unit and connect outside unit with the socket on the inside unit circuit board. Move the protrusive slot on the inside unit to a vertical status and put the torque bar into the slot. Make square spindle direction to the square hole underneath inside unit and insert it into the hole. Make inside unit close to the door surface. Finally, make two M5 by 50 cross semi-rounded headed screws go through the two holes underneath the inside unit and twist them into the corresponding holes and then tighten them up. Fasten two M4 by 8 cross heavy headed screws into the two holes at both sides and tighten them up to complete installation. Now let's install strikes and lining boxes. Close the door. Determine the two centers of two strikes according to the position of deadbolt and latch. Then take the two strike central points as two centers on the door frame. Bore two square slots suitable to deadbolt lining box and latch lining box. Match the two strikes inner holes directly to the two square slots. Draw the two strike side lines and chisel two support nests at two millimeters in depth. Finally, install lining boxes and strikes and fasten screws. After installation, we need to check out the following operation. If there's not any saved fingerprint, when inside handle is rotated, the latch can draw back freely with inside handle rotation. Press outdoor locking button, deadbolt shoots out. Push the sliding cover up, press power button, lock set automatically unlocks, deadbolt shrinks. Check out the handle. 